Hello, I'm the Reverend Renee Rahutsky and I am going to talk a little bit about regionalization. Regionalization is uh, being proposed in the Central East Region and the four districts of the Central East Region are going to be voting on it this spring of 2016. So here's a brief overview, regionalization in a nutshell if you will. So there's your congregation and there is your primary contact. It might be me or one of my colleagues. And we are your connection to the Unitarian Universalist Association. We help connect you with programming. We um, are available if you need our help, if you're doing vision work, if you have a conflict. We are your connection. Now we just don't connect you with the UUA. We also connect you with other congregations in your cluster. So what we do is we provide opportunities for relationship building, for uh, partnering on projects such as marching together in a pride parade or sharing leadership development or maybe even having your youth share an OWL program. So along with my primary contact duties, I also have several specialties. In my case, I, I handle leadership development, I also do a lot around systems thinking, and I'm the dean of the UU Leadership Institute. Well, along with me, I have colleagues who are also have specialties, and they're also available to you in your congregation through me. So for example, if you have a faith development kind of situation or question that I'm not able to answer, I can reach out to my colleague Pat Infanti. Or if you're studying policy governance and you need to get into the nitty gritty details, I might put you in contact with my colleague David Pyle. Or let's say you want to do some youth and young adult stuff. We have Razik Brown who is the special, has that specialty. Uh, or maybe you're a small congregation and need a little bit of extra TLC in that area, then Megan Foley might be able to help you. So I've just talked about services, and that's pretty much the way that the Central East staff has been operating as a team with primary contact. What you're voting on in the spring is the relationship and the governance structure. So right now we have four district boards. The proposal is that you'll connect to the UU board in a different way. So there's the Unitarian Universalist Association board. And instead of having districts where the accountability goes um, from the district boards to the staff to the congregations, instead there is going to be a group called the Wisdom Seekers. And that is going to provide the linkage from the congregations to the UUA board. So there's also the UUA Office of the President. The board is, a, is elected, the moderator and the board is elected by our General Assembly and the President is elected also and the President actually is the head of the Unitarian Universalist Association in Boston and um, the employees down there. So I'm actually an employee of the UUA. So the connection and the uh, accountability there is through another group of lay leaders which are an advisory council. And the Advisory Council um, takes assessment, sees what kind of program we're offering, how valuable it is, how effective it is, how much impact it's having. And then they report to the lead of our uh, region, which is the Reverend Joan Van Beesler, and the Director of Congregational Life, which is Scott Taylor. So there's that connection through there to the Office of the President of the UUA. So that's basically what the proposal for regionalization is in a nutshell.